Caitlin, it seems like it was so long ago, and yet at the same time, like just yesterday when we first met passing each other through the aisles of Coles. Over the next year and a half, we slowly got to know each other better, going from mere co-workers to becoming good friends. Before I knew it, my natural charm and good looks had cast a spell over you. <laughs> and, and you had fallen in love. All jokes aside, I knew very early on that you were the one for me. The way you find humor in dark times, the sheer passion you put into anything you do, the willingness to always make your loved ones feel even more loved. These are all just a few of the many things I admire about you. Kyle, you are kind and compassionate. You are sensitive yet strong. You are one of the smartest people I know. I know if I come to you with a problem or a question, you will know the answer or try your hardest to figure it out. What I lack for, you make up for. You've helped heal the deepest traumas. You've been my rock and my constant. The humor and joy you find in the world is one of the most favorite things of mine. Even when times are tough, you find a way to just poke fun of the situation in a way that makes it almost feel better. Your laugh is almost contagious every time. And even while I'm trying my hardest to stay mad at you, you crack a corny dad joke. And I can't hold it in any longer. <laughs> You've made me a better man and have opened my eyes to so many different things. Until the end of time, I promise to do anything to make you happy. I promise to pick up Miko's poop because I know how much you don't like it. I promise to always do the dishes because you know how much I don't like the way anyone does them. <laughs> I promise to always love and take care of our pets. Yes, even baby Gray. <laughs> but more importantly, I promise to always stand by your side, to always pick you up when you're down, to always support you and love you, to always be your best friend. Caitlin, I will forever and always love you, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh. Hi, Sony. Hi. You look nice. Thank you. But what I said to you is, I wish you all the happiness, all the love, all the prosperity and all the health that life has to offer. You got a good guy. I know. I know. It's true to me. I will. I know you will. I always will. And I love you. And you're gorgeous. And you're beautiful. I will also try to promise to not overrun your house with too many cats. <laughs> <laughs> I will forever be your biggest fan and your biggest cheerleader and the person you can always count on. <laughs> I promise it will always be you and me. I promise to love you unconditionally through every success, heartbreak, low and high time we have for the rest of my life. It's you and me forevermore. Kyle and Caitlin. Because you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage and demonstrated this by exchanging your vows and giving each other rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. Never been good with words, well, at least not the sweet kind. Somehow when she's around, Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. McLaughlin! Caitlin be quickly became someone I could confide in just as much as Kyle, and I'm honored to be here for you two today, and as everyone else here would say, I wish you all the happiness in the world. And I hate to quote one of our least favorite characters on TV, Ted Mosby, but he really did hit the nail on the head when he said, love is the best thing we do. 
because today I see you two at your best. As words, and I know, I know, I, I should live in a home, but I won't, I won't, I won't. And I, oh, 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 I get the feeling, and I don't know, don't know how she keeps stealing all the air from my lungs and leaving all the words stuck on my tongue. All I can say is, oh, 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 oh I get the feeling, and I don't know, don't know how she keeps stealing all the air from my lungs and leaving all the words stuck on my tongue. There are many ways to say how proud of you I am on this accomplishment. But Kyle, I am proud of you, and I am glad that you have chose Kate to be your one and only forever. Coming from your cousin, your best friend, but above all, your brother from another mother. She's so out of my league, but I just can't stop. I keep thinking, just wait and see. She's gonna know.